Hi everyone, uh, Josh from THT. I'm today in beautiful Broome in far northwest Western Australia. I'm on board a beautiful 60 foot aluminium vessel, a uh, name of Benny J, and we've recently just repowered it with a FPT Cursor 16 1000 marine engine. What I'll do is I'll show you through the engine room and then shortly we'll be going out for sea trials. It is an absolutely stunning day here in Broome and we look forward to showing you how the FPT Cursor 1000 marine engine goes. Righto, behind me I've got the FPT Cursor 16 marine engine. This one here is set to 1000 horsepower at 2300 RPM. This is a single engine boat. What I'm going to do is swing around and show you just how amazing this engine room is and how much room there is. Let me show you. This is the dream. Single inline six cylinder, 15.9 litre displacement engine, producing 1000 horsepower at 2300 RPM. And just look at how much room we have around this engine. It is absolutely sensational. I'll jump in, show you the features of this particular vessel in the engine room before we go for our sea trial. So here, well and truly tucked deep down, cosily within this engine room is the FPT Curse 16 1000. I'm gonna start by showing underneath, just in regards to how shallow the sump is and how much room we have, even though this engine sits incredibly far down, lowering this vessel's center of gravity dramatically for how deep it sits within the hull. They're an incredibly shallow sump on the Cursor 16, tying the fact that they are an inline six, meaning that they're not wide engines. We have a huge amount of space in this engine room. So whilst we're at the front here, you can see we have our seawater inlet and our sea strainer here, coming straight up, and I'll show you the seawater system in a second. We have a custom fabricated brackets and trudgeon mounts here. We were running here a power steering pump, as well as on the other side, you can see we have a, a deck wash pump, which is a clutchable pump there. You can see that runs through a stub shaft tucked on the front. This is a great way to have additional uh, items connected to the engine, uh, also allowing for safe access. You can see we have the checker plate across the front and it really just keeps it as a neat and still easily accessible area. Whilst we're here on the port side of the engine, you can see we have two spin on oil filters, which make for very, very easy access. Underneath, you see we have our gearbox oil cooler tucked neatly there. As I continue moving rearward, we have one of our whole set turbochargers here. The other one is situated on the rear of the engine. And you can see here that we have a dry exhaust section, which is under this amazing lagging, before it heads into the wet exhaust mixer and out through a 10 inch exhaust. I'll show you out the in the next compartment with the Pong box shortly. Whilst I'm here, you can see on this particular engine, we've actually connected the oil sump pump remotely through this orange line, I'll show you momentarily. The gearbox here is an electronic twin disc MG5136 gearbox. Again, trudgeon mounted on the rear, which actually picks up the old engine uh, mount points, which made for a very easy installation of this motor here. So we only have four mounts per engine. Two on the front, two on the rear. We still run a Raycor primary fuel filter before it tucks across the other side through to the FPT primary fuel filter with a water in fuel sensor, as well as the hand primer on the top. Around on the back here, this is an electronic gearbox, which does talk to a set of flexible electronic controls which I will discuss shortly. It does also have here the awesome red button of if you do have an electronic failure, you can click it in or out to allow you to select a gear. Prop shaft tucked neatly under here. This vessel had a brand new propeller shaft and propeller for this application. Look forward to giving some results after our run. Up on the top here, you see we have our breather system with a Donaldson breather filter for easy access. We have our secondary fuel filter with a bleed nipple on the top. On the starboard side of the engine, we have our injection pump here, which is a Bosch injection pump. We have our ECU tucked under this absolutely fantastically designed FPT uh, drip cover. On this side here, we have our seawater system and it is a very short run. So this black line here is our seawater inlet. 
straight up and under and into our bronze impeller seawater pump, which is tucked in there. Now, you see that we also have our potentiometer here, which in this instance isn't used because we are connected through the flex ball throttle controls. We have our intercooler here on the starboard side of the motor, of which boost piping runs down here from the two turbochargers, straight through in a really short run before heading up and into the intake manifold. Heat exchanger is situated on the front here. And again, it's a very short run from our seawater up here. This is marked X for an anode. Straight through, straight back out, straight through our heat exchanger before traveling straight down through our fuel cooler on the return line here before it heads out of the engine. Again, another great view of the amazing mounts uh, fitted to this engine for ease. On the starboard side of the vessel here, you can see we fitted remotely the charge oil and drain pump. Now, this is just a game changer. This makes servicing so easy. You literally flick the momentary on switch in either direction, up for drain, down for fill, and you can suck straight from 20 litre drums straight away. Now it is dark, but you can see here in the aft compartment, we are a 10 inch in and 12 inch out exhaust system through a pong box. Now it's a fiberglass pong box. This keeps the engine both very quiet and ensures that our back pressures stay really low, whilst also ensuring that we have well and truly enough height through the exhaust to ensure that there's no chance that water does return back up the exhaust into the engine. In regards to electronics on the FPT Cursor 16, very simple actually. We simply have a box here, which is our engine room bridge switch with start and stop, so we can start and stop the engine from within the engine room. And then the other system I'd like to show you, if I swing around here, this is the Flexball electronic throttle system. Now, this system here is called the EE11, which means it controls one electronic engine, one electronic gearbox, and has one throttle control station. Now, Flexball are amazing in that they do have options of uh, input. So this one here with FPT is a CAN bus, but they also do allow a voltage, milliamp and PWM inputs. Gearbox as well is electronic with a start interlock for added safety. Up here at the helm, you can see here is the single flex ball throttle station with the high Nordic adaption plate to make it for a very easy install, which is a 316 stainless. And as I click and turn the key and wait for that to turn on momentarily, so here is the FPT 7 inch deluxe control panel. You can see here that we have parameters showing of coolant temperature, oil temperature, turbo boost, exhaust gas temperature, the load percentage, fuel rate in litres per hour, battery voltage and oil pressure. And I'll just give her a crank now so you can see. And here we are sitting at 600 RPM. All our parameters come up really nicely. We have additional gearbox parameters on page two, including uh, gearbox pressure, gearbox temperature, air intake temperature, and fuel temperature as well. Page three gives us general warnings, and we have our alarms page as well, no active faults.
Righto, we've just come back in from sea trial. So the FPT Cursor 16 performed absolutely fantastically. Uh, we achieved at 1800 RPM a cruise speed of 15 knots, burning just under 100 litres an hour. Um, excellent in terms of the load percentage, we were down to 66 load percentage once the turbos kicked in at that 1800 RPM, which really proves for a very sustainable uh, cruise speed. Down low at around about 1000 to 1200, we were burning anywhere from 17 to 30 litres an hour. So in terms of a long distance cruiser, the FPT Cursor 16 is an absolutely sensational match. We achieved 22, 22 knots flat out at just under 2300 RPM and owner's incredibly happy. We're very proud to offer the FPT Cursor 16 for this amazing vessel up here in Broome, Western Australia. Thanks very much for watching and we look forward to showing you our next repower soon.